Alright guys, I want to show you how to install a mod called Village Marker. And just so you guys know, Village Marker is a both a client-side and a server-side modification that you can use to show the bounding boxes of villages. So when you're trying to create iron farms or um, trading farms or whatever you're trying to do, you can actually use this mod to visually represent where villagers will spawn to show where doors are um, and to show where iron golems will spawn uh, and since it's so easy to use I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install it and how to use it um, so the first thing you want to do is download it so let's go to Google and we'll go to village marker and we'll go to the Minecraft forum and I will include a link for this in the description. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take care of the single player version. Uh, so you would click on that and then continue to download it. I've already done that. I have it on my desktop. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add it to my Minecraft uh, client. So let's go to the .minecraft folder and then let's go to versions and we're on 1.6.4 right now. We're actually a couple weeks, or sorry, a couple days away from 1.7. Um, so this video will probably be uh, a little behind by then, but I th I'm pretty sure they'll have an update out pretty soon. They seem to be pretty good about updating this mod. So let's go ahead and call it Village Market. So we basically just copied our 1.6.4 or our current version uh, vanilla um, folder and then we created a separate one for it um, and alternatively you could also just edit a pre-modded one if you want in my case I'm just going to show you guys how to do a clean installation um, so the first thing you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy the name of that folder so copy and then I want to rename both of these files the same thing so let's do that too and then in the .json file we want to right click and I usually use notepad++ because it's a little bit more organized it's easier to see but you can also open it with just plain notepad in which case you would go to open with and choose notepad um, so let's get that open and let's change within the parentheses here the ID is going to be also the same thing that we named everything else so we can just paste that in there and then I'll save it and I'll close it and now to actually get the mod in the jar file we want to open that with either Win WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever program you prefer to use um, personally I, I like WinRAR um, you want to delete metainf and go ahead and open up the village marker zip file that we just downloaded and I'll open that with WinRAR as well and we'll close that the only files you need are just the class files the license is for just for you to read it's not going to change anything with the game um, so we'll go ahead and click and drag all those class files over click OK and now we should have successfully modded Minecraft. So let's try and get in there and actually play it. So we'll create a new profile and we'll call it Village Marker. Of course if you just modded a current profile then you would just go ahead and use the same one. Um, and then we want to use the, oops I named it Village Market. It's supposed to be Village Marker. Um, but you would just go ahead and click that and then save profile and now we have that selected village marker so we'll click play and we'll go to single player and I already have a world set up ready to go for us so let's go ahead and go to that alright so we're in our world um, so now if it does work when we create a village it should show us so let's go here.
And let's add a villager. Oh. Hey, it worked. So now you can basically see if we kind of fly out here. You can see the bounding box around it. And if you go into options, there's a little button for village marker. And there's four settings. You can either have it on or off. You can show golem areas on or off. Uh, you can control how many dots um, are in the circle. So you can see how the circle is getting kind of thicker and then thinner as I do this. Um, and then, of course, you can turn dots on and off. So um, that's it for the settings. So yeah, Village Marker. Very useful mod. Um, it also comes with a bucket plugin if you need to use it. I think it's not working right now with 1.6.4, uh, but they may update it soon. I'll put some links in the description. And if you guys have any questions, please just let me know. All right, take care.